Hey there folks, I got a new knife for you. What I have here is the new Rob Carter 3 inch variant custom tech knife. Now Rob took pre-orders for this. He took a pre-order of like a hundred. Me and Fast Bandit were lucky enough to get on this pre-sale, this pre-order and now it is here. You guys might have seen the Bandit's um, custom tech on the latest Wiener and, Wieners and Steel. Uh, and I just received mine after we recorded it, so I want to show you guys in macro animation the beauty of this new custom tech. Now he calls it a custom tech because um, the handles are CNC'd by Chad Nichols for Rob. So Rob sends them out to Chad Nichols. He he cuts them out on the CNC, and then the blades are water jetted in another place. Now those are just blanks. Right, so Rob still has to grind the blade, so he does all that work. And we noticed today, me and the bandit, we were having brunch in Brooklyn. Yes, we call it brunch. That there are differences in the grind because it is a hand ground blade. So there's minor difference. I mean, basically similar um, grinds, but like for instance, over here, mine is a little bit wider than the bandit's, which is uh, signifies the the custom, the handmade touch by Rob Carter. The steel on this is CPM 154. Now Rob does offer different uh, finishes and styles on the handle. I got the uh, stone wash, the bandit got the bead blast. Now Rob does offer a satin. I don't believe he offers a hand rub. He may. I mean it doesn't hurt to ask. Um, oh by the way if you didn't get in on the pre-order I'm pretty sure if you really want to, Rob can accommodate you. Maybe. Maybe. Look at that beautiful grind on that. Right? So, again, everything... So, what does Rob do? What makes it a custom? So, Rob... I mean... And then Rob, not not a team of uh, Rob's guys. It's Rob doing it. Rob Carter. He sets the lock. Right? He sets the detent, which I'll show you in a little bit. It's ridiculous smooth, which is, which is signature of Rob's work. He does all the finishing work. He does the finishing work on the hardware. Now, I just got satin on my hardware. He does offer not only different finishes, he, or, he offers a different material for the pivot, for the pocket clip, for the backspacer. If you want a full backspacer, I believe he offers a full backspacer. Maybe not. I'm sure he could do it. He can do anything. Right? The thumb stud. So I just got titanium, which Rob, on my thumb stud, which Rob anodized blue to match the titanium standoffs, also anodized blue. Now, I did treat myself to a little something something, and that is this amazing pocket clip. Now, this material is made... By Rob Card himself. Look at those colors. Hopefully I can get the colors for you guys. Right? He playfully calls this Rob Tanium Titty Mascus. <laughs> um, I definitely like the way it looks. It's awesome. It's a nice milled contoured, 3D contoured, handmade by Rob Carter. The Bandit. He got his thumb stud out of the same material. Now, depending on what you get, of course, it adds to the price of the knife, right? So, you, I mean, you could lose your mind and get... He also offers, like, San Mai, uh, Mokume, I, I believe, all different kinds of material to accommodate you. You can make that with your pivot material, right? Your collars, you could do that. Your thumb stud, your back spacer, he could do all that. So I got the Robtanium milled pocket clip. I also got the blackened titanium. This is titanium that is blackened by Rob. He has some secret method that he won't share with me. And it also has an orange peel on the handle. Uh, I think the bandit got more like a of a like a, a bead blast. But this is uh, nice and black and off and, and nicely goes with the, the dark acid stone wash. Beautiful blade. 
Again, a nice flow through design. It is a smaller knife. Uh, overall length is seven inches. The blade length is, is three inches. Right? It's got a ceramic detent ball. Which is perfect, right? Just comes off and then. Now again, Rob sets all that. He sets the detent, the, the smoothness factor, and it is there. Yeah, I mean, to, uh, some people it might not be important, but to me, it's it's kind of nice. I like it. I like it. Perfectly centered. If you guys saw my Instagram account account post, just beautiful work. Beautiful work. Flies out nicely. You can thumbs. You can do a middle flick. Very excellent. Very smooth. What else? Am I forgetting anything else? Now again. If you follow Rob on his Facebook page, Rob Carter Knives, or on his Instagram, you'll see different variations off the handles. He mills out designs. He could put holes. He could put patterns, uh, different finishes. He basically offer, offers you whatever you want, you know, but it will be at a certain cost. Right? I believe the pre-order, I mean, the, the basic model starts at 540 so if you bought it for 540 you just got everything tied right i'm not sure if he charges for the anodizing he might but again so i added the pocket clip and the the black titanium but everything else is standard so if you guys are in rob's book for this f16 variant again did i say that this is a variant off the f16 flipper model that Rob made, that Rob still makes. Hopefully I covered everything. Right? Just really gorgeous. Look at that pack lip. You kidding me? Beautiful. All right, folks. So that's the Rob Carter variant custom tech. Peace.